So we over here at the creek. Uh, we're gonna see if we can do a little iguana hunting. Uh, we're gonna be using the lasso. We got my fishing rod and reel right there with a frog. And we got this baby right here. This is the gamma. So we're gonna see if we can. This is my first time using the gambo to hunt. Uh, it's a .77 uh, adult air piston pellet gun. And I was thinking when I first got it, that it would have the power to take down an iguana. It definitely has the precision with the scope, but after this test right here with a you know close range hunt, uh, it proves to me that this gun cannot take down an iguana full size. Multiple shots to the head and the neck didn't do the trick. Either this gun is too weak or these iguanas are too strong. So after this test, I have made my decision that I will be returning this gun. And in the future, I will be hunting with my 22 on private land only. Because it doesn't make sense. I hit, you know, the iguanas with this and it's not doing anything to them. I did recover this iguana and put him out off camera. Measuring tape here as well. To measure our catch. Beat connects. Hit the connect, so let's get it. See right here I see one of those Jesus lizards. There's also an iguana sleeping there, but I didn't want to disturb him. I wanted to get the Jesus lizard. I was aiming right for the neck and the head region to get that one hit kill shot. And this lizard is small, he's about one to two pounds. Should have put him out. He ended up fleeing. I decided to put the gamo down and go back to my roots, what I know, lassoing iguanas. Mind you that I'm driving a boat, recording, and trying to lasso them all at the same time. Not as easy as it seems. Oh, he came off. Let's see if we can sneak him and finesse him. Like I said, driving a boat, recording, and trying to catch an iguana, all while trying to keep my balance standing up on a boat. Talk about multitasking. I left the boat in drive, and I actually got a little too close to him. Too close for me to finesse. I did a loop around with the boat 
and try to go up to him so I'm in better position. This time, success. Oh shit, he's going crazy. He's going crazy. He's pulling the boat. This guy was causing a lot of commotion on the boat and got some attention from some of the neighbors. It's not illegal, sir, but I'm like I said, I'm gonna release him. Watch. I just want to just get a measurement and his weight. They're everywhere now, they're invasive species. They eat all the flowers and stuff like that. It's not illegal though. I just want to get a measurement of them. Apparently, it's illegal to catch iguanas out here with a snare in Florida. If only he knew how invasive and how crazy these species actually are. The numbers, the way they reproduce, the damage they cause. FWC actually encourages its Floridian residents to do stuff about the iguanas. 23 inches. Thirty-nine inches. All right. One of today's main objectives was to get some measurements on some iguanas, just so I can have an idea of the size and how rapidly they're growing. Uh, thunderstorm coming in, so we're gonna just call it a day. Um, as you guys seen, there are a lot of iguanas here. I did get a couple shots off with the gamo, but for some reason, I, I did get headshots, but it did not fucking put the iguana down. So I'm a little disappointed on this. I might be returning this because I got good clean shots and the iguanas just ate it up and just ran. I don't know if this is too weak or they're just strong. Um, I was about probably like, I don't know, 30, 40, like 30 yards, 20 yards away, like pretty close. But uh, might be returning this and next time I come out here, I'm gonna just bring out my 22 and just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just do what I gotta do. As you guys can see, the, you know, the rain picked up. I had to go out of there, especially when Buddy's gonna call the cops on me and stuff like that for nothing. I told him, you know, he cooled down a little bit, but I let him know what I was doing. It was not illegal. Uh, just hunting these iguanas, you feel me? So he cooled down, we ended up, you know what I'm saying, seeing a little bit more eye to eye. But uh, without a doubt, the rain and the wind, it's definitely coming down, guys. We're about to have a thunderstorm. So uh, until next time, just, uh, you know, until next time, just keep on catching.